Hi everyone, I'm Jason with Backpack Fly Fishing and today I'm going to show you how to make your own French slinky strike indicator. For this project you'll need an empty pen case, scissors, high visibility mono, 15 or 20 pound test, color of your choice, a pot to boil water in, and some good old duct tape. The first step is to attach a length of line, about two feet or so, to the pen case with either a rubber band or duct tape. And you want to leave at least a few inches off the tag end because later you're going to tie a loop knot in the end of this. So make sure you just give yourself a little bit more room than you think you might need to work with when you tie the knot later. Once it's attached, take the longer end and start to do successive wraps. You want to do it fairly tight and as close together as possible. If they start getting away from you, just kind of push them together a little bit. Now the number of turns can be basically anything you want. I like to do about seven or eight, but you could definitely do longer if you wanted a little bit bigger coil. Once you've got it wrapped around the pen case and it's nice and tight, we're going to go ahead and secure the other end with more duct tape or a rubber band. All right, I've got my line wrapped around the pen case and it's important to note that you want to use several wraps of duct tape. One or two wraps won't cut it because in a second here we're going to throw it in some boiling water and this can come loose, so the more wraps the better. Next, place it in boiling water for five minutes. After five minutes, take out the pen case and put it immediately in the freezer. Now you can leave this in the freezer for just a couple hours, but ideally you'll want to leave it overnight. After you take it out of the freezer, you should end up with something that looks like an old telephone cord. Something that's very stretchy and will detect subtle strikes. I like to tie perfection loops in each end and attach one end to the end of the leader and then the other end to the tippet, just to make it uh, easily removable if I want to switch between nymphing and dry fly fishing. Anyway, that's the French Slinky Strike Indicator. If you want more information about how to fish this and how to make it, please visit my blog at backpackflyfishing.com.